Understanding, it's not probable. A guide to English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, it's not probable. We'll explore what it means, how to use it in everyday conversation, and some examples to help you master it. Whether you're an English language learner or just looking to polish your language skills, this video is for you. So, let's get started and unlock the secrets of this intriguing phrase. When we say, it's not probable, we're talking about the likelihood of something happening. In simple terms, it means that something is unlikely to occur. It's important to understand that this phrase doesn't mean something is impossible. Rather, it suggests that the chances are low. In the world of English expressions, grasping the nuances of probability can add depth to your conversations. You can use this phrase in various situations to express doubt or skepticism about future events or outcomes. For instance, predicting outcomes, when you're discussing future events and you believe something is unlikely to happen. Expressing doubt, to politely express skepticism about someone's plan or the feasibility of an idea. Making decisions, when weighing options and considering the likelihood of different scenarios. Understanding the context in which to use, it's not probable, will help you communicate more effectively and naturally in English. To give you a better grasp, let's look at some examples of how to use, it's not probable, in sentences. Considering weather forecasts, looking at the sky, it's not probable that it will rain today. Discussing future plans, given his busy schedule, it's not probable that he will join us for dinner. Evaluating chances of success, with the current market trends, it's not probable that this new product will succeed. These examples illustrate the versatility of the phrase in conveying uncertainty or low likelihood in different scenarios. Expanding your vocabulary is always a good idea. Here are some alternatives to express similar sentiments. It's unlikely. Chances are slim. It's doubtful. It's not likely. Using a variety of expressions can enrich your language and make your conversations more engaging. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, it's not probable. We hope this video has shed some light on how to use this expression effectively in your daily English conversations. Remember, language learning is a journey, and every phrase you master takes you one step closer to fluency. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Happy learning!